Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala nabijina Muhammadin, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in. Amma ba'at fa'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahi rahman rahim Rabbi shrah li sadri, wa yasir li amri, wa ahlu luqtatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. I have written the verse of the Quran again uh, because I thought I should let you know a little bit more about Siyagul Mubalagat Ismi Fa'ili, the intensive form of Ism Fa'il, huh? which is so unique and so beautiful in Arabic language. It's not there in English. It's there in Arabic language, very beautiful, brother. We must understand. As we know, there are five forms. Remember? I have only written three. These are the most common. There are two others. Inshallah, you'll read it in the book, okay? Fine. Brother, then I wrote down, وَكَانَ الشَّيْتَانُ لِلْإِنسَانِ خَذُولًا What is the translation, brother? Huh? The shaitan is to a person uh, an arch betrayer, not ordinary betrayer, but arch betrayer. Uh, means he betrays all the time. Uh, he will befriend you and then leave you in the middle. Okay? And he run away. Uh, okay. So look at it, Khazullah. What is Khazula? Faula. Remember? Faula. Are you with me, brother and sister? So, Khazilun is the normal. 
uh, from Khazala. Khazilun is normal ism file. And then we have intensive ism file uh, on the pattern of Fa'ulun. Uh. Ghafara, Ghafirun, and then Ghafur. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So we have the intensive form of ism file on uh, specified patterns. Okay? Here is something very interesting for us to note it down. Fa'ulun and Fa'ilun, brothers and sisters, what are they? They are called Sama'iyun. Means people are using it as they heard it from others. They are already in the language. We cannot create our own. They are already there. They have been created. Huh? People have already used it. We just have to follow them. But the pattern fa'alun is kiasi. Huh? It's on a particular pattern. We can make any verb into this intensive form. Huh? We can make any verb into this intensive form. Okay, brothers and sisters. So here we have, for example, what do we have, brothers and sisters? Gafara, Gafirun, Gafar, Wahaba, Wahibun, Wahabun, Razaka, Razikun, Razakun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Very good. Now, since we can make it, and you will find it in the language, brother. The person who cooks all the time, tabakha yatbuku. What is the some file? Tabikhun. But what we call it? Tabakhun. Huh? Means all the time, you know. Exactly the same way, huh? halakun. The barber. That's his job. Halakun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And then, bakkalun. The green grocer. Huh? And here are a couple of interesting uh, 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 nouns I will tell you, brother. What is the meaning of bakkakun? Well, uh, chatterbox. He talks all the time, doesn't stop. Are you with me? Talkative. Chatterbox. Can you see the intensity in it? He talks it all the time. Bakkakun. Here is another word, brother. Bakkarun. You are going to laugh. Are you with me? Uh, are you with me? Let me write down something else in Arabic. <coughs> the one who looks after, who tends cows. Uh, uh. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So these forms are there. Uh, faulun, failun is. Samayun. Huh? We cannot create own, our own now. They are there in the language. Huh? As people used it, it has become a part of the language. But for alun, we can even make our own. From any verb, you can make this form. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, I come back to the other thing, brothers and sisters. That when these intensive forms are used for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is even more intensity in it. Huh? There is more intensity in it. If you say Samiya, what is the meaning of Samiya? He heard. What is the Isam file? Samiyun. Means, you know, he heard 
momentarily. Uh, he heard momentarily. When the news was on, he heard. When the news is finished, he stops hearing. Okay? Or he goes to sleep and he doesn't hear. But when we use this form for Sameun, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the faculty of hearing which is there. It is in extensiveness and intensity for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He hears it all the time. Whenever there is a sound anywhere in the universe, he hears it. He hears it. He possesses that faculty. Allah has that faculty of hearing all the time. It's a permanent thing. Are you with me, brother and sister? So when we understand these things, you know, these attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they make more, uh, you know, uh, sense to us. And we can understand him better, inshallah. So, you know, Basirun is from Basirun. When you say Basirun, he sees it all the time. If you say Basirun, it's just momentarily. He saw something momentarily. But Basir, he sees it all the time. Everything. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Here is another word, brother. Rahima. What is the mudarya? Yarham. Huh? He shows compassion. Huh? He is uh, uh, merciful towards somebody. Rahimun. But then Rahimun means he is merciful momentarily. But when you say Rahimun, he is merciful all the time. And when you use for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is extensiveness and intensity in it. He is merciful all the time. Always. Towards all his creation. Huh? So Rahim is the intensive form. Now I explain you something else which will also will be very interesting for you, brother. How many babs are there in Fel Sulasi? Six babs. Remember, Bab Nasara, Bab Daraba, Bab Fataha, Bab Samia, Bab Karuma, Bab Hasiba. Remember, Fataho Dammin, Fataho Kasarin, Fatahatani, Dammo Dammin, Kasro Fatahin, Kasaratani. You, you know it, brother. From these five Babs, we make a file on the pattern of Fa I Lun. But not from Bab Karuma. Are you with me? Karuma Yakrumu. Make Isam file. Tarimun. Are you with me? Jamula. Jamula. Yajmulu. What is Isam file? Jamil. Huh? Latufa. Huh? Latufa. Yaltufu. What is the Isam file? Latif. No, from Bab Karuma, the Isam file is on an intensive pattern. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? When you say Karim, is not Karim once, but he has the quality of being kind all the time. Hmm? But when you use it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then it has got even more extensiveness and intensity. A man can also be Karim. A woman can also be Karima. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, when you say Latif, means he's also kind all the time. He's gentle all the time. And when you say Jamil, he's beautiful. Now, that is a permanent thing in him. Huh? If a person is beautiful, he's always beautiful. So then, we have to understand that Bab Karuma, when you make Isam file, it is on the pattern of Fahilun. And it has intensive form already built in it. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So I thought I should mention this to you because this is very interesting and very good to know about it, brothers. So here we go one more time, brother. Kana shaitanu lil insan khazulan. This is an intensive form. It shows the quality of shaitan. 
characteristics of shaitan that he, he betrays all the time nobody can rely on him uh, and the scholars sometimes say the khadulan means arch betrayer uh, okay so again if we know that this is on intensive form brothers and sisters makes more sense to us uh, that he will betray all the time Khazilun, Afailun. Sister Menas, the, the, the normal form of Islam fail is file. Huh? But then these are the intensive form. What do we call it? Siyagu Mubalagat Ismi Faili. The intensive form of uh, active participle. What do you call Islam fail in English? Active participle. Huh? I thought I should mention it so that you can make a note of it. We already studied it. So inshallah it will make your uh, uh, study of the Quran even more interesting inshallah. Brothers and sisters, we come to our dars. Uh, section 7, Sister Hafza. 2 o. Brothers and sisters, page number 207. I have to ask Sister Hafsa because my notes are in the book which was written a long time ago. So pages are not the same, you know. Now we come to brothers and sisters. Araka Daifan. What is it? Araka Daifan. What is Ara? Mudarya. What is Madi? Ra'a. Huh? Okay. Ra'a has two meanings. One meaning is to see, the other meaning is to think, to judge, to deem. Okay, brothers and sisters, when you use it in the meaning of to see, it has one mafulun bi. Huh? And then it is called, it is called, Ra'a al Basariyatu. What is it called? Ra'a al Basariyatu. Huh? It has got one mafurun bi. But when you use ra'a as in the meaning of to think, to judge, to deem, then it is called ra'a al kalbiyatu. Huh? Means the ra'a of mind. Huh? You, what do you see with mind? You think, you judge. Okay. In that particular case, it will have two mafulun bihi. And what will be those two mafulun bihi, brothers and sisters? Muftada and khabar. And if it is muftada and khabar, the first mafulun bihi will be definite. And the other mafulun bihi will be yeah, most of the time. Huh? Okay, there could be some exceptions. Okay. So here we are, araka daifan. What is the actual sentence, brothers and sisters? Anta daifun. What is it? Anta daifun. Now you use uh, ara and anta changes into ka, brothers and sisters, because it is the mansu form of the damir. Anta became ka, ara ka daifun. Ra, hadihi bimana alima, to know. Wa tusamma ra al kalbiyata. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Tansibu ra'a al kalbiyatu maf'ulaini. Two maf'uls, brother. Asluhuma mubtada wa khaba. Isn't it very clear? Isn't it very easy, brothers and sisters? It's not difficult. Mithlu zan. Just like zan. Zan has two maf'ulun bihi. Which are Muftada and Khabar. Now, Anta Daifun, Araka Daifan. Wafit Tanzili, brother. In Nahum, Yarav Nahu, Baidan. Wa Narahu, Kariban. Okay, brother and sisters. Yarav Nahu, Yarav Nah. What is Yarav Nah? Felun, Mudarun, Marfun, B. B. Subuti, no, no. Marfun bi sabutinim. Let us try to conjugate, brother. Are you with me? Ra'a 
ra will become yara 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 yani yarauna tara tarayani yaraina yaraina are you with me inshallah okay very good huh? so innahu yarawnahu what is who brothers and sisters yawmul qiyama or it can be the azab are you with me the punishment huh? they think that it is very far but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we think it is very near brother we should be prepared for it who knows when it is you know but again there are beautiful examples in the quran brothers and sisters people who have died thousands and thousands of years ago on the jumul qiyama when they will be resurrected they'll say we just slept uh, maybe a day or part of the day they won't say we slept for thousands of years they will only say we slept for a, a day or maybe part of it okay so time with us has a different meaning but time with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a different meaning okay so this is it brother but narahu karibun allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we see it close okay fine amma ra'a al basariyatu fatansibu maf'ulan wahidan lahu arayta al mudarrisa got the idea one maf'ulun bihi okay adkhil ra'a al kalbiya ana jumla atiyati anta mustajilun you are busy okay what will you say araka mustajilan are you with me mustajilan fine brother and sister who a hazinun what will you say raitu hu hazinan god mashallah this is very nice at tulabu mujtahiduna this is a question atara atara what will you say now at tulla ba and then mujtahidin mashallah mashallah brothers and sisters if you can do this so quickly what shall i say to you alhamdulillah you are getting there huh? your mind is now getting trained huh? your mind is now getting very sharp alhamdulillah alhamdulillah fine brothers and sisters that's done huh? now we come to asa brother asa is like la alla what is la alla it is hope and fear la alla is a particle what is it brothers and sisters remember la alla is a particle it indicates hope and fear what is asa asa also indicates hope and fear but it is not particle what is it it's a verb it is a verb and it is like laisa jamid what is it jamid it has only madi form that's all no mudariya no amar nothing okay brothers and sisters we got to understand one thing now i'm telling you things in advance which we are going to read in the lesson brother because you already know it in lesson number 16 book 2 for the first time dr abdurrahim taught us uh, the concept of al mastar al muawwal huh? are you with me brothers and sisters al mastar al muawwal which means you know that an plus fellow mudariyun mansub has the meaning of a master what is it has the meaning of a master you can change that into a master and then that master which becomes a noun now okay brothers and sisters can become fa'il can become maf'ulun bihi can become ism majrur okay similarly asa when you will use asa al mastar al muawwal has to come in that sentence are you with me al mastar al muawwal has to come in that sentence huh? remember that brother okay so here is a, in nutshell what we are going to study are you listening brothers and sisters 
as we know, the verbs are complete and incomplete. If the verb is complete, then it has a file. If the verb is incomplete, then it is a sister of kana. Then it has got ism and khabar. Okay. If asa is followed by a noun, are you listening? Maybe we'll forget it tomorrow. But that's normal. It will be, inshallah, when you revise it, it will stay, inshallah, in our mind permanently. But here is a simple thing, brother. Asa, if it is followed by a noun, a proper noun, then asa is incomplete. What is it, brother? And that noun is the ismu asa. And then the khabar asa has to be masdar mawar. Got it, huh? Alhamdulillah. Now what happens if the asa is followed by a master mawar? Then it becomes a file. And then the verb is tam. Got the idea? That is it. Huh? That is it, brothers and sisters. We got to remember it. But because we do not sit down and analyze asa all the time, we tend to forget. But when you revise it, inshallah, it will come to you right away. Okay. Asa, here yeah, brothers and sisters, and takunu khairan min hum. Now when you say asa, okay, then you always say it is hoped or it is feared. Huh? But in la la we say I hope and I fear. Huh? But in here you will say it is hoped and it is feared. Okay brother? So, so what will be the meaning of this, brothers and sisters? Asa an yakunu khairan minhum. It is hoped that there is some benefit from them. There is some advantage from them. There is some kind of a blessing from them. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Asa min af'alil rajai. Rajai means... Hope, brothers and sisters. But tufidu tarajia. Are you with me? What is what is the meaning of tarajia? Hope. Well, ishfaq. And what is the meaning of ishfaq? Fear. Nahwa. Asa Allahu. No, brothers and sisters, since I told you the uh, in nutshell, the working of Asa. So Asa and Yakunu. What is an Yakunu? Master Mawal, five. Uh, it comes right after Asa. Sister Sukhaina, so it is five. Huh? It is, what is it, brother and sister? Five. So Asa is here, Tamun, huh? complete verb. Huh? But it is coming later on, but I am just trying to throw things you at you. And uh, maybe I am confusing you, but you are very smart. You don't get confused so soon. Huh? And you will understand, inshallah. Asa, so an yaku nu is your master muawwal. Fine, brother. Fine, brother. Now, next one, brother and sisters. Asa Allahu an yatuba alayhim. It is hoped that Allah will turn to them eh, with forgiveness. Or we can say, it is hoped that Allah will forgive them. Are you with me? Now, what is Asa Allahu? Allah is the ism, not the file. Because in this case, Asa is like Kana. Huh? Nakis. Huh? So, Allahu is the ism Asa. And where is the Khabar Asa? Master Muawal. Remember, always, 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 Master Muawal will be the Khabar. Ay, Yurja. See? What is Yurja? Majhul. What is the meaning of Yurja? It is hoped. Huh? It is hoped. And Yatuba Allahu alayhim. That Allah will forgive them. Or Allah will turn to them in forgiveness. Number two, brother. Look at it, brothers and sisters. Asa and takrahu shayyan wa huwa khairun lakum. An takrahu. It chooses takrahu na. Noon is dropped. So what is takrahu? Fialun, mudariun, mansubun, 
we have the phenone and and wow is the fire uh, brothers and sisters so what will you say here asa is tamun where is the fire ah you got to remember that huh? fire okay wa huwa khairun then it does not really need the khabar when the ism is there then you need the khabar when the ism is not there you don't need the khabar okay i yuksha what is the meaning of yuksha but the khashiya yaksha make it yaksha majhul yuksha are you with me brothers and sisters huh? yuksha is majhul from khashiya yaksha it is feared it is feared that you hate a thing while it is good for you it is feared that you dislike something but it is better for you next sentence brothers and sisters tamalu asa amala kana is it clear what is the meaning of this asa does the work of kana ha wa yakunu khabruha fi'lan mudariyun muktarinan bi an it has to be fi'l mudariya uh, connected with an so what will an do it will make it mansub ha huh? and it will be masdar muawwal ha huh? asa allahu an yanfa'ana bika or how will you translate brothers and sisters it is hoped that allah will bring some benefit to us from you huh? that there is a benefit to us from you we hope in allah huh? it is hoped are you with me brothers and sisters so this will be the meaning it is hoped that allah will bring some benefit to us from you fine brothers huna lafzul jalalati ismuha wa jumlatu an yanfa khabruha got the idea brothers and sisters is it clear afza inshallah abir sumaya sister inshallah clear fatima inshallah it will be clear sister madina is clear inshallah very good watati asa tamatan tamatan here is mafulun bihi af taati okay what is the meaning of taati asa tamatan the asa comes as a complete verb ha huh? ata yati means to come okay ai taqtafi bi marfuiha mean brothers and sisters it is satisfied with the file it is satisfied with the file or marfu what is marfu brothers and sisters it has to be filed okay fala tahtaju ila khabar and it does not need the khabar okay it does not need the khabar wa zalika iza waliha brother what is this waliha this must you must write down brothers and sisters what is it brother Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Got the idea? What is the meaning of waliya? To follow, huh? Tabiya. But remember, waliya. What is the mudariya? Yali. So what is it now? Bab hasiba. Kasra in madi and kasra in mudariya on ain kalima. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? 
Inshallah, you'll remember that. So, wazalika iza waliya an wa fi'alu. Mastar mu'awal, brother. No. Asa, this is a very beautiful sentence, brother. Asa an yahdiyani rabbi. This is from Surah Al-Kahf, brothers and sisters, ayah number 24. Very beautiful sentence, brother. Asa, let me write it down, we analyze it, brother. Asa. An well and sisters, that is why I always feel like uh, admiring Madina books and I sing the praises of Madina books because in book 3 the examples come from Quran and beautiful verses Dr. Abdurrahim brings in for us to understand the language, the rules huh? through the verses of Quran Asa and Yahdi Yani Rabbi ok brother Okay, what has come after Asa? Fine. So it is Felun Tam. What is the meaning of it? It is a complete verb. It will have five. That's all. Huh? And if the verb happens to be transitive, in the Master Mu'awal, if the verb happens to be transitive, then we will have Mafulun Bihi for that verb. It's not for asa. It is for that verb which comes in master mu'awwal. Huh? Fine, brother. Asa. Fi'alun ma'adin mabniyun ala fatahat al-mukaddara. Because it is asa here. Huh? Okay, asa here. Fine. Now, an harfu nasmin wa mastariyin. And what is yahdi? Fi'alun Mudharion, Mansubun, Bil Fatahti Zahira. Remember when it is Nakis, Hada Yahdi. Hada Yahdi. Make it Yahdi Mansub, it will become Yahdi Yah. Don't forget that. Whenever the fail is Nakis, it will always have a, a man, in Mansub form Fatah visible. Zahabtu ila suq li ashtari ya. Li ashtari ya. Otherwise, it is only ashtari. But it became ashtari ya, it is mansub. When you say ashtari, fairun mudarion marfun bi dhammatil mukaddara. When you say ashtari ya, fairun mudarion mansubun bi fatahti zahira. It is there for us to see. We can see it. What is this noon doing here? What is this noon doing here? No, you forgot. We have done it, but you forgot. You are going to laugh when I explain you. Eh? This is Nunu Vikaya. What? Nunu Vikaya, MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Nunu Vikaya. And what is this kasara doing here? Ya mutakalam aithi, nishani chodke, chali gai. What did I say? The ya mutakalam came as a mafulun bihi, dropped her signature and disappeared. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is actually? Yahdi ya ni. What is it, brothers and sisters? This is the actual. Huh? And this is the style in the Quran. Huh? It is in the Quran that the ya is dropped. It is there. It's my zuf. Huh? Brothers and sisters, see, if we do not understand the language 
How can we understand Quran, brother? How can we understand Quran? So, here we are, brother and sister. Yahdiya, ni, okay, nunu ikaya, okay, brother and sisters. And then, al yaw, mutakallim, maithufun, fi mahali, nasbin, mafulun, bihi. Are you with me, brother and sisters? What is Rabbi doing here? File of what? Asa? No. Yahdi. Rabbu is the file of Yahdi. Wa huwa mudaf. And ya mutakallim mudaf ilayhi. So where is the file of Asa? Al master al muawwal. An yahdiya. Fi mahli rafa'in. Fa'ilan. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? I was fascinated when I understood this. I said, this is so beautiful, mashallah. Huh? It is so enjoyable to work out all these things and write it down, you know, on a piece of paper. Alhamdulillah. What is the translation? Or it is hoped. Uh, it is hoped uh, that my Lord will guide me. Subhanallah. Huh? It is hoped that my Rabb, my sustainer, will guide me. Huh? Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. So this is it, brothers and sisters. Huna al mastarul mu'awwalu fa'ilu nasa. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now the next sentence, brothers and sisters, is wa fi kaifa muhammadun al-a'ana asa an yakuna ahsana. Yajuzu an yakuna asa nakisatan. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yajuzu an yakuna asa nakisatan. What is the meaning of this? That it is permissible, okay, that asa here is incomplete. Why? Why incomplete? After asa, I immediately see master muawwal. How can it be in incomplete? Because if you say asa, and if you say the ismu asa, mustatir taqdiru huwa, are you with me? Did you understand me? Okay. Asa, asaya, asav. Look at these three. Where is the ism of asa? Mustatir. And asaya? Alif. And asaw? Wow. When you consider that as an ism, then it is nafis. But if you say asa and master mawal as a file, then it is not nakis. So it means here, brothers and sisters, that it is permissible. In a sentence like this, asa and yakuna, if you say that it is nakis, then sister Abza, the ism asa is mustatir. Got the idea? The way we always do it. But if you do not say that, and you say the file of asa is an yakuna, then it is tam. Huh? Now this requires little thinking. Read it, brothers and sisters. وَذَلِكَ إِذَا قَدَّرْتَ فِيهَا دَمِيرًا مُسْتَطِرًا If you estimate in that damir mustatir, then it becomes nakis. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Sister Maimuna? See, asa can become nakis. Huh? If you estimate that there is a damir mustatir in it. But you don't estimate that. And you say, master mual is the file. Then it is complete. Huh? So you have a choice here. The way you describe it. Or you analyze it. Okay. Wa idha lam tukaddir. And if you did not estimate. Fahiyya ta'amun. Is it clear now, brothers and sisters? Read this sentence two, three times. Underline it huh? and read it. Huh? 
If you read it two, three times, it will make complete sense to you, inshallah. Now we come to the next one, brother. Asa an-nakisatu. Asa Allahu an yahdiyahu. Asa Allahu an yahdiyahu. What is asa here, brothers and sisters? Nakis. Huh? Why I ask you? Because the noun is following asa. Okay? So what will be the Allahu here? Ismu asa. Huh? And where is the khabar asa? An yahdiyahu. Huh? Master muawal. Fi mahalli. Uh, nasbin because khabar kana is mansur uh. so it is your khabar are you with me brothers and sisters fine and in yahdiya are you with me brothers and sisters in yahdiya there is a file where is the file mustatir taqdiruhu huwa yadullu ala allah it goes to allah fine here is the next sentence, brothers and sisters. Look at it very carefully. Asaitu an anjaha. It is hoped that I will pass. Or I hope you can say here, I will pass. It is hoped I will pass. So what is two here? Ismu asa. Are you with me? Just like kuntu. Okay? Fine. Where is the khabar asa? Uh, and Master Mawal. Got the idea, inshallah? It's not difficult, brother. The only thing is, what is it, brothers and sisters? So after a week or two, we'll forget it. Because we do not do asa all the time. But having understood it well, it will take just one reading for you to get it back, inshallah. Asa at Tamatu. Now, same thing, brothers and sisters. Asa and Yahdiyahu Allahu. Look at it, brothers and sisters. What is the difference between these two? Now, the Allah came as a file at the end. Huh? Okay, fine. And here, where is the file of Asa? Master Muhammad. And Allahu is the file of Yahdi. Huh? Are you with me? So difference is very little. In fact, how the, the uh, sentence is constructed, it makes a difference. Now let me tell you one more thing. From the meaning point of view, the meaning will be same. Huh? Meaning will be same. You will translate it in the same way. But from grammar point of view, huh, one will be uh, tamun, and other will be nakisun. Huh? That is only from the grammatical analysis point of view. When you translate into the English language, the translation will be same, inshallah.